Hi everyone. Like I mentioned in our introduction, the first part of this um, video is going to be walking through the different examples of um, how OneNote can be used. And I'm going to walk you through a little bit through my progression, my experience in using OneNote in my classroom um, from using a standard OneNote notebook to, um, to OneNote classroom and class notebook. Um, and I have been using OneNote now for a couple years um, and have really fallen in love with it um, as my own organization tool as well as using it for my classroom. And so I'm going to show you one of my old notebooks. This is a notebook back from um, last year when I, before I used OneNote class notebook. And um, OneNote is, is not so much like file folders in your computer, um, but it is like a notebook. Think back to the three ring binder um, from middle school and, and, and high school. Um, it's a notebook that has folders um, and what you'll see up here is file dividers, right? Sections um, and then pages within a section. Okay, so again, I like to think about it more about like that, that three ring binder um, versus file folders on a computer. Um, so this was a notebook that I had created last year for my B-Block geometry class. Um, and I, I've organized things uh, differently every year depending on what my curriculum is um, and depending on what I've learned from previous years. It definitely takes a little bit of time to, to figure out how do I want to structure my notebook so that um, it makes sense for my students. And I, also, I often also ask them, you know, like, what is it, where does it make sense to, for me to put this so it's easy access and, it, and it's understandable for you guys. Um, so what you'll see here is I have... Um, chapter, this is how I knew, um, I did it last year. I have chapter notes across the top. Um, that worked for me because I have um, these chapter um, note sheets that I would go through. Um, and, and you'll see um, here, so it's, so it's all the note sheets. And how this worked in my previous years uh, was when I took notes in class, um, anything that I originally would have written on the chalkboard or the whiteboard, um, we wrote on here. So it was organized by chapters. I had a final exam review section. Um, the thing that students probably most accessed on their own um, were these homework solutions. And um, so this, I, I had organized all my homework solutions um, together in one section, which I, was based on student feedback. Um, so how did I use it in class and how did students use it outside of class? So for this OneNote notebook, like I said, um, when, when we were about to go through notes, um, talking through concepts in class, I would write my notes right on here. Um, and here's the benefit of that. So when I, before, right, I would write my notes and do my pro practice problems on the board, um, and then I would erase, um, either because I ran out of space or it was the end of class. And all of that work that we did together as a class would go away. Um, so in this, it, all of it's saved. Um, it's saved automatically. And actually, the students would have access um, pretty much simultaneously um, to that OneNote notebook. Um, I'm going to show you real quick what the students would see um, on their end. And so I would just put a link to this shared notebook um, on my class website. Um, so students would be able to access it um, whenever they need. So let's say they missed um, class when I was talking about chapter three um, and they missed um, a couple examples. Literally everything I wrote in class would be available here for those students um, with the colors and the different um, theorems and ideas. Um, and that was a really great resource. Also, because um, all of my homework solutions were here, um, automatically students would have access to everything they need right here in the OneNote notebook. Um, before OneNote, I used to write everything out by hand, um, scan it, upload it to my class website. Um, very tedious, lots of extra work, um, and this was just a, an ax, a, a access for my students um, immediately. And they really would come to this this resource often. A lot of people ask me how I'm able to implement the flipped classroom model um, in my classroom. 
And honestly, it would not be possible without OneNote. Um, this is how I create my own flip classroom lessons um, using a screencasting software, Screencast-O-Matic, which I'm using right now. Um, but having the ability to create the screencast with OneNote as my tool um, for organizing notes, describing notes, um, and writing notes um, with the Microsoft Surface and the pen um, has really been, been uh, life-changing for my classroom. Um, so what I'll do is I, for a video, is I will kind of plan out what the lesson's going to be um, and use the notes. Um, usually I give students these notes ahead of time so that they may um, use them as they're studying along as well. Um, and then I walk through and I teach the lesson um, always under, it's usually between 10 to 12 minutes, um, using this resource. Um, so having the ability to write in uh, my notes and describe different ideas while screencasting um, has really been revolutionary for my class. Um, so you'll see here, um, I was able to go through a bunch of examples for 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 triangles. Um, and maybe for other subjects, um, creating flip lessons um, using PowerPoints or um, Office Mix would be possible. Um, but for me as a math teacher, um, I, I just kept saying, unless I have a, a resource where I can write notes um, by hand and that it's legible, as you can see, um, it is. it looks like this all the time. Um, it, I, obviously, I got a little bit better at it, but um, most of the time, um, that's, that's what I can use. Um, and so that was really key and uh, essential to having this flip classroom model even be possible. Um, and then the, the models um, get put into um, a screencast and then I use other resources for those, but without the fundamental idea of being able to write um, notes like this, draw pictures, um, and point my students to particular ideas, uh, that would not be possible without OneNote. So that's what I've used um, to implement the flip classroom model in my classroom. What you're about to see in here is Kelly Toman, one of our veteran teachers here at Holy Child. Um, she's going to talk about how she uses um, OneNote. She's been a OneNote user for a while now. Uh, but one specific way she uses OneNote is to uh, audio record explanations of particular problems. Um, sometimes just seeing the solution written out isn't enough for students. Um, so she takes the next step to create an audio um, recording of an explanation of a written out solution. In the classroom, one of the easiest ways that I've used it, and also um, a really beneficial way, is to record explanations for problems as I work them, and then post them for students to view outside of class. Um, this would alleviate the problems of coming into class after having done homework, some of the class needing no assistance, and some of the class needing extensive assistance. So what I could do is just post the the problem um, answers as well as my explanation. Students could watch me work through the problem and in real clear detail, step by step, go through the problem. Um, it helped the students who needed that extra support without taking away time from the classroom. So what happens on this little video after this, you'll see me kind of go through a problem. Thank you. Okay, this is a second type of pressure problem where we're dealing with an object that is submerged in a fluid. Um, this is an open system. It's open to the atmosphere. It's not closed within tubings or pipes. I'm going to go ahead and draw this out so you can kind of see what we're looking at. We have um, a beaker or a cup of water. Okay, that is a beaker that has water on the bottom. Okay, nine centimeters of water down here, so nine centimeters of water on the bottom. And then above that, we have 7.5 centimeters of oil. OneNote notebooks have a lot of other um, benefits and options um, as a teacher and as a professional outside of classroom use. Um, I use OneNote notebooks um, to keep my life organized and to keep myself organized. Um, and actually, since I've been doing this, I have trouble keeping track of paper. Um, so as much as possible, everything that I get, whether electronically or in a hard copy, 
I try and plop into one of my note one note notebooks um, to keep myself organized. So I use um, one way I use OneNote notebooks um, is for meeting notes. Um, so whether it be a planning meeting um, or a committee meeting for mission effectiveness, um, meetings about our learning management system, department meetings. Also, when I go to professional development and conferences, um, I this is where I take um, all my notes and put links in. Um, and and different options um, for that um, faculty meetings and um, information um, I can either type it in like I like I did most of it um, or this was a meeting where I went ahead and um, did written notes which was helpful um, and lots of other um, lots of other options like I said conferences um, I go to grade level meetings um, and other other options um, so meeting notes is one way that I use uh, OneNote notebooks. Um, I use it to collaborate with our other instructional technology specialist um, on planning of different events and, and different things. Um, we used it for our week-long tech camp um, last year, and actually that was helpful, our outside presenter. Um, we put our agendas in here um, and, and shared a class notebook with them. Um, and lastly, for grad school, um, I would uh, create a notebook um, for each of these and I would go through, this is where I would do um, a lot of my reading, um, put a lot of the agendas, um, and um, I would do a lot of my annotating um, for different ideas, um, highlighting uh, to organize myself in terms of reading and note taking. Um, I also use it for committee meetings. Um, this was a, a notebook that I shared with our entire tech committee. Um, so I've got agendas and minutes, um, places for collaboration and feedback, um, a place to, to store technology plans and standards um, so that every, everybody had access um, and could collaborate if necessary. Okay, so outside of the classroom, um, I have found OneNote to be um, a great resource um, for keeping myself straight, um, for, for compiling resources and information. I definitely use it when I create our schedule here at the school and keep track of registrar things. Um, and at this point in my life, I'm not sure what I would do without uh, OneNote notebooks. Um, it's also helpful, there's OneNote apps, um, so I can access it from my, my smartphone. Um, and other resources um, like that. I've definitely found a benefit to keeping myself as a professional, as an educator, um, organized and engaged with all of the things that we have to um, keep track of.